Hi, my name is Ming from Stevens Institute of Technology. I'm going to present our visual geometry work, Bodor, which is a joint work with Yang and Dan. Visual geometry addresses the recovery of camera poses from an input video sequence. Within different categories of direct, indirect, and different residue densities, our work focuses in the dense indirect field. Popular indirect methods track for sparse or semi-dense handcrafted features and recover camera poses as well as feature points geometry by minimizing the reprojection error. While our method takes a batch of dense optical flow fields estimated from external methods such as PWC net or cross 25 flow and infers temporally consistent camera poses as well as a dense depth map by minimizing the endpoint error between the rigid flow and observed flow. We integrated the problem under a probabilistic model where camera poses, depth map, and rigidness maps are modeled as hidden variables, while the optical flow fields are modeled as observed variables subject to a FISC distributed residue. The FISC residue model is an empirically validated residue model by testing the optical flow and point error distribution. We explored an adaptive residue model determining the residue distribution with respect to the magnitude of optical flow observations. A throughout KS test also shows that FISC residue model generalizes well to different optical flow estimators. Furthermore, the FISC model parameterization is estimated with respect to the observed flow magnitude, respectively with linear and log-linear regression. The overall workflow of our method is, with a given video sequence input, we first send them to a dense optical flow estimator to get the optical flow field sequence. Then, the objective of our framework is to minimize the difference between the observed optical flow and the rigid flow obtained by warping the depth field with camera poses. Next, residues are weighted by the rigidness maps where pixels belong to occlusion, outliers, or moving objects are downweighted in our visual geometry estimation. Finally, the weighted residues are used to update our visual geometry estimates governed by the physical residue model. Our inference framework iteratively alternates between updating the depth map, rigidness maps, and camera poses while assuming others fixed. For updating the depth map, we adopt the a sampling and propagation scheme where the image 2D field is broken into alternatively directed 1D chains while depth values are randomly sampled and propagated through each chain. Furthermore, instead of standard MLE criteria for picking optimum depths, we introduced a maximum inlier estimation MIE criteria that maximizes for the richness maps, which achieve the better accuracy. For updating richness maps, we post a smoothness term on the 1D hidden Markov chain, and this can be efficiently solved using a forward and backward algorithm. For updating camera poses, we solve for relative poses using thin depths at the previous time step and obtain their 2D correspondences using optical flows to define a dense PMP instance. And we solve this dense PMP instance by estimating the mode on an approximated posterior distribution given by Monte Carlo sampling through minimal P3P instances. And this approach is independent from initialization and provides very nice robustness towards outliers. And our approach is also massively parallelizable on GPU device that usually takes less than 5 milliseconds. And plus the time for updating depths and rigidness maps, the total time for each updating cycle is as following. And in our experiments, we take 6 frames for each batch and our method usually converges in 2 to 5 iterations. Our method achieved the state-of-the-art visual geometry accuracy among monocular view methods on key dataset. We use the PWC net as our optical flow input, and the scale is estimated assuming fixed and non-camera height from the ground. We also tested our depth map quality with respect to different pixel rigidnesses, where the subset of pixels with high rigidness have achieved a satisfying accuracy. Our open source implementation is publicly available at the link below. Thank you for listening, and please visit our paper for more details.